Hey guys, in this video we'll be going over multiplication and division with significant figures. In a previous video, I went over how to identify how many significant figures a number has. If you haven't watched that video, the link will be in the description below. Also in a previous video, I went over uh, addition and subtraction with significant figures. The link for that video will also be in the description below. But without further ado, let's get to it, this video. So when we multiply and divide with significant figures, the answer should have the least number of significant figures. So first, let's start by uh, identifying how many significant figures a number has. So 246.32 has five significant figures. That's because it has five numbers and all of them are non-zero integers and we said in the previous video uh, where we used these rules that all non-zero integers are significant and the first one has all non-zero integers so it has five sig significant figures. The next one 1.007 has one two three four significant figures And that's because we said zeros in between non-zero digits are also significant. The next one, 7 followed by a number of zeros, only has one significant figure. That's because zeros at the end of a whole number without a decimal point are not significant. Then we have 14.600, and that one has one, two, three, four, five significant figures. And that's because we said zeros at the end of a number with a decimal point are significant. So th these zeros are significant because of this decimal point over here. The next one. 0 0.001 only has one significant figure and that's because zeros to the left of the first non-zero digit are not significant. So since now we know how to identify how many significant figures a number has, let's actually do some multiplication and division with significant figures. The first problem we have is 3.608 meters times 27.0 meters times 3.000 meters. And one of the first things to do is identify which of these factors has the least uh, number of significant figures. And in this case, that's the 27. It only has three significant figures. What I like to do is I write how many significant figures each a factor has. So I just write it on top. So this one only has three significant figures and that's the lowest. And the first one has four significant figures. And this one has also four significant figures. So first we're just going to multiply without paying attention to significant figures. So that's 292.8 two four eight and at this point we're going to identify how many significant figures the answer needs to have and we, we said the answer needs to have three significant figures so that's going to be the two and the number to the right of the two is going to tell us if we should round up or down and since this is less than five we round down so the final answer is going to be 292 meters. Don't forget the units if there are units in your calculation. Next we have 900 times 10.0 times 3.81. So we're going to go ahead and identify how many significant figures each of the factors has. So 900 has one significant figures since there are no decimal places. 10.0 has three significant figures and 3.81 also has three significant figures. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and multiply these without paying attention to significant, significant figures. So the answer is 34,290. The lowest number of significant figures is 900. Isn't the 900, that's one significant figure. So the final answer should only have one significant figure. So that's going to be at the three and the one to the right and the number to the right tells us if we should round up or down and the four since it's less than five makes us round down so the final answer would be 30,000. That's the final answer for that problem. Next we have 50.0 divided by 1.0 and the answer for that would be 50 and since we know this uh, 1.0 has two significant figures the 50.0 has three significant figures the final answer should have two significant figures but if we write 50 like this that only has one significant figure but if we put a decimal point now it has two significant figures. We have 23.7 uh, 3 times 3.8. First, we're going to write how many significant figures each number has. The first one has three significant figures. The next one has two significant figures. So we know the answer needs to have two significant figures. First, we're just going to multiply. So we get 90.06. And we know the answer needs to have two significant figures, so that's going to be at the zero. And the zero to the right tells us if we should round up or down. Since zero is less than five, we're rounding down, so the final answer will be 90 with a decimal point. And now we have mixed operations. We have addition and multiplication. And answers, uh, in problems like these, you shouldn't round until all the way at the very end, but you should keep significant figures in mind. What I mean by that is, first, we'll go ahead and add these, since it is inside the parentheses. 10.0 plus 1.35. And once again, do not add any placeholders when you're adding or subtracting. So this will just be 5, 3, 11.35. And we know that if we draw a dashed line right after the number with the least number of decimal places, we get 11.35. So the final answer has three significant figures. But we're not done with the entire problem, so we're not going to round. But I'll leave this underlined so I know how many significant figures my answer is supposed to have. So I'm going to rewrite this problem. And this time I'm just going to replace this portion with 11.35. So 11.35 with the 3 underlined times 13.00. And that equals 147.55 but we know this one has three significant figures this has four significant figures so the answer is going to have the least number of significant figures so that's going to be three significant figures and that's at the seven and the five is on the right and it tells us if we should round up or down and the final answer should be 148 since the five to, uh, makes us round up. Hopefully this video helped. Significant figures are important and they do come up a lot in chemistry specifically, uh, also in physics, but more so in chemistry. Uh, keep practicing, it will get easier. Significant figures shouldn't be that big of a deal with a lot of practice. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment. If you haven't already, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.